Hey coaches, in this section we're going to talk about playing the game. Um, this is how we look at playing the game of football in our offense, coaches. Um, back in 2014, we needed a better way uh, for our athletes to compete against teams we were playing. We just had to find a way to get the ball into space, uh, empty the box out a little bit, um, you know, just find a way to be successful for our kids. Um, and this is what we come up with, coaches. Um, makes it hard for the defense to scout you or play exotic defenses. Um, we feel that if we can motion and shift and, and uh, go fast, that uh, you know, defenses can't line up. They can't get set. They can't sub. Um, coaches, we've snapped the ball about every 15 seconds, so we're moving at a fast pace. Uh, attack the flat defender and middle linebacker. Um, we do this basically in everything we do. Um, we want to attack those two defenders on the field. Um, we feel that we can read those two defenders, um, you know, especially in our RPO game, um, you know, even in our screen game, because uh, we like to attach our, our runs with screens. So uh, we like to attack those two guys. We feel that we can be successful by putting those two guys in a bind. Um, play option assignment football without pitches, risk, practice time, the correct athletes, okay? So basically what we're doing is we, we've been able to to speed our practices up and not waste time um, by doing, you know, a lot of things like, like option, uh, you got to work the pitches. You know, we still work mesh point, obviously, and we run some speed up, um, coaches, but we don't spend as much time on those things. We move, we're able to move at a fast pace and do, do things that we feel is going to be successful for our kids. And the last one, coaches, is force the defense to defend the entire field and make a decision whether to commit resources to the box or to the perimeter. So basically, coaches, what we're doing is we're making you declare where you want to put your defenders. Um, do you want to stack them in the box and try to force us to throw, or do you want to you know, put guys out on the perimeter and, and give us the box we're looking for? So basically, that's what we look for, coaches, when we're, when we're playing the game. Um, you know, in film study, um, you know, through the week, we, you know, we break it down and we look and see, you know, what are they going to give us if we give them this formation? Um, and we run multiple formations and we'll get to that, um, in this course, but, but we use a lot of different formations and shifts to give us that leverage or that matchup that we're looking for on the perimeter or in the box. Um, we don't, you know, we don't harp a lot on our quarterback. We don't try to put too much on him. Again, we give him basic reads. Um, you know, attack the flat defender. You know, we're going to read the, the middle linebacker. Um, other than that, we want him to play fast and, and just have a clear mind as, as we play the game. Um, you know, we, we don't put a lot of pressure on him. We want him to be a cool customer when he's out there. And basically, it's his offense. Um, we, we want him to run the offense. Um, you know, be a leader and, and uh, you know, just, just be able to play the game at a fast pace. Okay, coaches, in Chapter 1, we're going to talk about how we build the offense. Okay, and how we build our offense, coaches, is we take run plays and we marry them with quick screens or passes. Okay, I haven't called a run play, just a straight run play, coaches, in probably three years. Um, most of the time when we call a, a run play, we're going to attach it with a quick screen or a pass. Um, We've been really successful at this because it gives us a lot of options. Again, basically reading the flat defender or the mic linebacker is going to tell us which option we should use or go to. Um, my quarterbacks, coaches, they, they love it. Um, it gives them options. Instead of, hey, if the run isn't here, I can pull and now we can move to the next option. Um, it's been really successful for us doing it this way, coaches. Um, Second, we're going to take a slow screen and a quick screen, and we're going to put them together. So, for example, we might have a slip screen to the left with our tailback and a quick screen to the, uh, to the right, okay? Um, basically, that's how we would do that, okay? And then on the third one, we're going to take a slow screen and marry it with another slow screen, okay? So we have different ways that we do this, um, and we'll get to it as we go through this, this course. Um, we're going to take drop back passes and drop back passes, if that makes sense. So one side, we might be working a cover two beater 
And on the other side, we're going to be working our cover three. Um, we're going to take drop back passes and quick passes and marrying them together. Okay, so basically what we're doing, coaches, is we're, we're trying to take away whatever the defense is giving us. So if they're giving us a cover two look, we want to have an answer. If they're giving us a cover three, cover four, uh, you know, man under, uh, you know, one high, whatever they're giving us, coaches, we, we want to be able to take advantage of it. Okay, and we're going to take a drop back pass and marry it with a quick pass. Okay. Also, quick pass with a quick pass. It, I mean, it goes on and on, coaches. We can do whatever we want to in this system, which is why I love it. Um, it gives us a lot of options, um, a lot of ways out. Um, you know, if they roll to another coverage, if they're trying to, you know, roll down, the safeties are rolling to the box, safeties are bailing, corners are bailing. It gives us a lot of different ways to attack you. Okay. And the third one's going to be what we call the wave package. All right, in the wave package, coaches, we're going to take three concepts and we're going to package them together. For example, coaches, we might call inside zone, okay, is the run, okay? Then we might have a now screen, bubble screen, or some type of screen attached with it. And the third option, coaches, will be the quarterback. So if he pulls, and he can run. So basically, we've got three options that you have to defend at any time on the field when you're playing us. Um, I get it all the time. I've had defensive coordinators come up to me and say, man, it's so hard to prepare for you guys because you do so much. Well, to our players, coaches, we're not doing that much. We're doing all our concepts that we rep in the summer. We, we, rep, them, we rep them continuously. And that's the whole key to this whole thing, coaches, is, is repetition. Um, once your players get comfortable and get good at what you're trying to do, uh, the sky's the limit. Um, you know, we have built... Uh, from years and years, we just keep building our offense. Um, but to our kids, we're still running the same concepts that we did day one. We just like to window dress them a little bit different at times to make it look different to the, different to the defense. Um, the wave package uh, has been really good for us. Um, again, it gives you a lot of answers to what teams are trying to do to you. Also, coaches, it's kind of like less is more, and that's how we think. Um, you know, it might look like a lot. It might look like we're doing a lot. Our kids are having to remember a lot. But, again, these are concepts that we run uh, every day, every week. Um, so to our kids, they're, they're the same concepts. We're just marrying them with other concepts. So to the line, the line will be blocking inside zone. To our perimeter players, we're running our screen game or our drop back game or our quick passing game um, and they're going to run those routes that they've learned from day one.